In this video, we're going to be walking through an installation of On One Photo 10 on a Windows machine. On this machine here, I'm currently using Windows 10 as the operating system. Once you've downloaded the Photo 10 installer, it should look something like this. Once you've located your file, double-click to launch the installer. Depending upon the security controls that you have set up on your computer, you may be asked for permission to install on One Photo 10. Go ahead and click Yes, and the install will resume. You'll see that the Windows Install Shield wizard pops up to help us through the installation process. We go ahead and click Next. It'll ask if you want to accept all the terms. Go ahead and click Yes again. At this point, if you'd like to have a desktop shortcut created for Photo 10, you can choose this option during install. You can see that there's an option to install Perfect Resize as a standalone application as well. Now, Perfect Resize has been incorporated into Photo 10 through the export module. But if you're wanting to use Perfect Resize as a standalone application or a Photoshop plugin, you'll want to use this install option. I'll go ahead and click Next because I don't need that Perfect Resize installed. Here you can choose to leave older versions of the software on your computer if you still want to use those older versions and you're upgrading, or you can remove all older versions if you just want to use the Photo 10. Next you'll want to click Install, and the install process is going to begin for you. When the install is complete, you can see we have a checkbox here to watch a short intro video if you'd like. If not, simply unclick that and click Finish. As you can see, we have the Photo 10 shortcut, which shows that we have things installed properly. If you didn't install a shortcut, you can find the On One Photo 10 on your computer by going to the window, clicking on All Apps, and then scrolling down to On One Photo 10. So we'll see On One here, On One Photo 10. Simply click that, and it'll launch the application for you.